we're going to show you how we charge a vehicle AC system with R134A. Whenever you're working on your vehicle AC system, make sure you wear some safety glasses. Our gauges are set up right here. The lines are leading down. Sister's going to remove the cap and then put on the valve. When you're putting these valves on, you want them in the fully closed position. Sister's going to show you what happens if you have it in the fully open position. See that pin in the center of the valve? That's fully raised or pulled back. Now she's going to open that valve and you'll see what happens to that pin. It moves down and then it will press on that Schrader valve. That's why you want them in the fully closed position when you put them on. Sister's going to put the line on the high side now. She's going to pull this quick disconnect back, push it down, then you wiggle it to make sure it doesn't come off. She's going to show you how easy it comes off. There you go. She's taking the cap off the low side. Sister's going to put the line on the low side now. Fully closed position. This is the supply line, what we call the supply line, the yellow line. And it has a green gasket on it. You want to make sure that that gasket is not cracked. If it is, you have to replace it. All right, y'all, we're using PAG, P-A-G 46. That's the lubricant for this system. We're going to fill the supply line, right there, the yellow one, with a half ounce of PAG 46 oil. So sister's pouring it in that container that will measure out a half of an ounce. She's going to pour that oil in that supply line. Snug them up. We have the gauges set up, all three lines on, low, supply, and high side. The uh, lines are hooked up, both the low and high side, to the ports. The valves on the car, the high and the low, are both in the closed position. That means counterclockwise. To open them, you go clockwise. The gauges are in the closed position. To close the gauges, you turn them clockwise. To open them, you turn them counterclockwise. So keep in mind, the gauges for open and closed position are the opposite of what the valves are. Make sure the gauges on the low side and the high side are in the closed position. She's going to open the valves there so it depresses the Schrader valve. Fully open and on the low side as well. So the valves are open. The gauges are still closed. You have to know how much refrigerant your AC system takes before you fill it. We're gonna put in 36 we're comfortable with that. It's within the range. 36 ounces. We're putting in three 12 ounce cans. And these are self sealing cans. You do not want to overfill the refrigerant. All right, y'all. Sister's going to show you how to put the tap on the can. It's in the fully open position, which means the handle is turned all the way counterclockwise. You want to make sure that handle remains in the fully open position until you're ready to have that refrigerant flow and your supply line is on. We're going to show you that. Before you put that tap on, you want to look at the seal on the bottom of it. Make sure that seal is good or it will not hold the refrigerant when it comes out of the can. You also want to have a pair of gloves, preferably, probably leather, but we don't have that. We're using plastic. We're now going to attach the can to the line that has the oil in it. You want to make 
make sure all these fittings are tight. When that refrigerant flows through, it's going to push the refrigerant and the oil up to the head of this supply line. Then we're going to open that a little bit to purge any air that's in that line because you don't want to send air into your already vacuumed out system with no moisture in it. Now sister's going to pierce that can and open it. The way you do that is turn that handle clockwise all the way down. Okay, can is open and we're going to loosen that supply line a little bit, just a little y'all. Let all that air clear out. First we're going to turn on the engine, then we're going to turn on the fans, in this case it has a front and rear, to medium. And then we're going to turn on the AC. thermometer in the vents and it's reading just about above 70. Now what we're going to do is slowly open the low side. Don't open the high side gauge, only the low side. At some point when the AC system has enough refrigerant in it, we're going to hear the compressor kick on. It won't come on right now because there's no refrigerant in the system. So it's drawn in refrigerant now. At some point this can will empty and then we're going to change out the can. You heard the compressor just come on. So you can see now that the compressor's come on, that AC clutch is engaged, it's spinning. And we've got bubbles through the side glass because there's not enough refrigerant in the system yet. We're only on can one though. I don't know if you can see the frost in this can. It's cold and it's getting low now. Some people dump them upside down. We don't. You want the refrigerant to draw in slowly. Now we're going to put on the second can so we're going to shut that gauge down the low side. Turn it clockwise all the way. I'm going to retract the needle by turning it counterclockwise all the way. Now sister's going to remove the tap. Supply line goes on. Get open the can. Move that line a little bit until she hears or sees a little refrigerant coming out. Now she's going to open the low side. We're drawing in the second can and that thermometer is already at 50. And there are still bubbles in the sight glass. Those bubbles will lessen as more refrigerant is added. As the refrigerant is drawn in, we're gonna shake that can. If you shake it like that, you'll feel if the can is empty. The can is empty. We're going to turn off the low side. With two cans in, we have that amount of bubbles. We're going to raise the needle on that can. Now we're going to remove the supply line. We're going to take off the tap. Just put it on the tap. Put it on the supply line. open the low side again. Now the refrigerant's being 
being drawn in. See how the bubbles are lessening? We're on the third can. We've got less bubbles running through the system in that sight glass. And we've got that thermometer at about eh, 42, 43 degrees. So it's working. The can's empty, so we're going to turn off the low side. Now we're going to retract that needle counterclockwise. Now the tap comes off the can. All right, y'all, no bubbles are running through that sight glass. The temperature on the gauge is 40. We're going to turn off the AC, turn off the fans, and turn off the engine. Now turn your valves in the closed position all the way. Now she's going to remove the valve and put the cap on the Schrader valve. It's going to be a hot engine, y'all, so be careful. Before you remove that valve, make sure it's in the closed position. She's putting the cap on the Schrader valve. Now we're done, y'all. As you saw, we relied upon the manufacturer's recommendation for the amount of refrigerant put in the system. And that's how we charge a vehicle AC system. Hope it helps, and happy DIYing.